Well, before I start this review, I want to thank you guys so much. This is my 100th video review here on YouTube. So I want to thank you guys so much for your continued support. Thank you guys for watching the reviews. And without further ado, let's talk about the Yunos Roadster, the right-hand drive Miata. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I'm driving a 1990 Yunos Roadster. Up front is a 1.6 liter that's been turbocharged and down below is a 5 speed manual gearbox. If you want to read more of my thoughts, head on over to carmarshall.com slash overdrive where I'll be writing a complete article about the Yunos Roadster. But let's get back to that 1.6 liter. I don't know if you can tell, but not only is it loud, it's turbocharged. But it did not come like that from the factory, so we won't talk about that for a little bit. It's the same 1.6 liter that comes in the Mazda Miatas. And you might be thinking, Zach, this looks exactly like a Mazda Miata. Is it not? Well, it kind of is, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Like I said, 5-speed manual transmission, rear-wheel drive. And as you can tell, it's right-hand drive, and I am currently in America where cars are not usually right-hand drive. But this is imported from Japan, being a Yunos, so it's right-hand drive. So let's talk about the interior. In front of me, I have those beautiful Miata gauges that I love so much. I have a wooden Nardi steering wheel, and this is actually factory. This is not an addition to the interior. Same with the shift knob and parking brake lever are all wooden Nardi products and they're not aftermarket. They came stock on the Yunos Roadsters. In the center, I have two little vents for my air conditioning, my air conditioning controls, and that's it. It's still a Miata in here, guys. There's nothing really that different besides the fact that I'm on the right-hand side. So, I've been kind of beating around the bush on this, but is this a Miata, yes or no? And the answer is kind of, mostly yes. Yunos was a luxury brand in Japan that was a part of Mazda. Mazda wanted to diversify their portfolio, so they created Yunos. Similar to Lexus and Toyota or Acura and Honda, that sort of relationship. They never imported them here because there wasn't ever really a market for luxury Mazdas. So, when starting Yunos, Mazda decided to rebatch the Miata as just the Yunos Roadster. It was a specced up, nicer Miata. Of course, it was for the Japanese domestic market, so their right-hand drive. So, if you're wondering where have I heard the word Yunos before, Yunos made the Cosmo. The Cosmo was a standalone vehicle. It wasn't copied from any chassis, and that had the three-rotor 20B rotary engine. If you want to learn more about that, I have a video on my channel I haven't reviewed one yet, but my friend had one and he gave me a ride in it and I did an informational video about it. So if you're wondering about the Yunos Cosmo, I'd highly recommend checking that out. I'll, I'll link that at the end of the video. I almost went this whole review without hitting the windshield wipers. Dang it, I almost did it. Now like I said, this engine has been turbocharged and that's aftermarket. I don't want you to think that Yunos Roadsters were all turbocharged because they weren't. Supercharger. You don't get to roll into it. It's kind of like always there in the background, which is cool. You do make more power, yes, but you don't get that rush of adrenaline when it finally starts making boost. So I have to say, driving this Miata or this Roadster is really, 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 really trippy for me because, as you guys have known, I've reviewed a ton of Miatas on the channel and I've actually driven in my personal life 12 different Miatas. I've driven every generation, turbocharged, supercharged, NA, engine swapped, everything. I've driven a lot of different Miatas, but never a right-hand drive one. And so it's like everything's the same, but different. Because it's still hand 
handles like one. It's just so weird being on the other side. Now, actually driving right hand drive, not that scary at all. Honestly, the hardest part for me is remembering that the turn signals are on the other side as well. Well, I wanna thank Tyler for letting me do this review because this is just, it's just so cool to be driving something I'm so familiar with, but also not at the same time. Miatas are great, left or right hand drive. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something about the Unos Roadster. If you want to read more of my thoughts, head on over to carmarshall.com slash overdrive. But again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys. I, 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 I,